PAOKFC, Wikipedia article audio. PAOK Football Club, A. S. A. E. T. S. T. A. T. P. T. Panthesalonikios Athleticos Omilos Constantinopolitan, Panthesalonian Athletic Club of Constantinopolitans, commonly known as PAOKFC or PAOK, is a professional Greek football club based in Thessaloniki, Greece. History Foundation in the Early Years 1946-1958 1959-1995 2006-2010 2007-2010 Stadiums Supporters Rivalries Badge and Team Colors Crest Kit Evolution Shirt Sponsors and Manufacturers Honors European Record UEFA Ranking Players Current Squad Out on Loan Notable Players Academy and Teams Affiliated clubs National team players Management Established on April 20, 1926 by Greek Constantinopolitans who fled to Thessaloniki from the city of Constantinople in the wake of the Greco-Turkish War, they play their home games at Tumba Stadium, with a capacity of 28,701 seats. Their name, along with the club's emblem, the Byzantine-style double-headed eagle with retracted wings that was adopted three years after the establishment of the club, honors the memory of the people and places that once belonged to the Byzantine Empire and were invaded and conquered by the Ottoman Empire in 1453. Board of Directors Technical and Medical Staff PAOK currently plays in the top flight Super League Greece, which they have won twice. They have won also five times the Greek Football Cup. With a 14th place finish being the worst position ever achieved, the team has never been relegated to a lower national division since its establishment in 1926, a feat achieved only by rivals Olympiakos and Panathinaikos. Notable Managers Records and Statistics The team has appeared several times in the UEFA Europa League competition. Their best European performance was in the 1973-74 season, when they reached the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. In addition to this, it is the only Greek team that has more wins than losses in all its European history, the 0-7 away win over Lokomotiv Tbilisi on September 16, 1999 in the UEFA Cup is the largest ever achieved by a Greek football club in all European football competitions. PAOKFC is the oldest division of PAOK Sports Club, the successor of Hermes Sports Club which was formed in 1877 by the Greek community of Para, a district of Istanbul. The football club was founded in 1926. It was created by Constantinopolitans who fled to Thessaloniki after the Greek defeat in the Greco-Turkish War, although it was open to every citizen of Thessaloniki, leading to a minor rivalry with AEK Thessaloniki the other Constantinopolitan team of the city, in which played only refugees. The original logo of PAOK was a horseshoe and a four-leaf clover. PAOK played their first game on May 4, 
1926, at the Thermakos Stadium, defeating Megas Alexandros Thessaloniki 2-1. The first coach of the club spent five years on the team's bench, and was unpaid, Costas Andratis. Their first captain was Michalis Venturalis. The season 1926-27, PAOK participated in the second division of Macedonia Football Club's Association Championship, where was also AEK Thessaloniki. The first official match of their history was on December 12, 1926, where they defeated Neogenia 3-1, for the same division. After winning the championship of second division, forced by the organizing authority, to play with all clubs from first division, and he had to win them to be promoted. Eventually they won all four teams, Thermakos with 4-1, Eris with 2-1, Atlantis with 1-0 and Irocles with 1-0, and was promoted. In 1927-28 they participated for the first time in 1st Division EPSM. The first professional contract was signed by the club on September 5, 1928. The contract stipulated that the French footballer Raymond Etienne of Jewish descent from Para Club would be paid 4,000 drachmas per month. The contract was signed by Dr. Melatia the PAOK chairman, and Mr. Sekalaripoulos, the Han. Secretary In early 1929, AEK Thessaloniki was absorbed by PAOK, who then changed their emblem, adopting the two-headed eagle. The eagle symbolizes the origins of the club in the former Byzantine capital, Constantinople, and the legacy of the Greek refugees from the Ottoman Empire. In 1930-31 they made their debut in the Panhellenic Championship, playing their first match against Olympiakos, and ended the season in fifth place. The first foreign coach in the team's history was Austrian Rudolf Gassner who served PAOK in 1931-32. On June 5, 1932, the Sintriveni Stadium was inaugurated with PAOK's 3-2 victory over Irocles. Sintriveni was to be their home ground for 27 years. In 1937, PAOK won their first title, the Macedonia Championship and participated in the Panhellenic Championship, finishing second. The 1937 team included, Soteriadis, Vatikis, Golios, Kontipolos, Boston Zoglu, Panides, Kleros, Critas, Ionidis, Kalogianis, Kaukaulas, Cosmides, Apostolou, Vafiatis, Vasiliatis, Anastasiatis, Moshides, Zakatsiglu, Zakapitas. On May 28, 1939, PAOK competed for the first time in a Greek Cup final against AEK and was defeated 2-1 on the Apostolos Nicolaides. In the same season they competed in the final of the 1939-40 Panhellenic Championship where they lost in double final from AEK. In 1940 they won the North Greece Championship. After the Second World War, in the early 1950s, some important pages of PAOK's history began to be written. At that time, the PAOK Academy was created by the Austrian coach Wilhelm Sefzik and was known as the Chicos of Willy. From the newly founded academy sprang some great football players of the season, such as Leandros Simeonides, Giannellos Margaritis, and Jurgos Havanides. In 1948 PAOK won the Macedonia Championship for the second time in history, and then participated in the final phase of the Panhellenic Championship where it was ranked third. 
PAO Case Footballers dedicated the title to the memory of team captain, Thrasivalos Panides, who had lost his life in the Civil War a few days before the club won it. Panides played in PAOK since 1930 and had 122 appearances. In 1950 he emerged once again champion of Macedonia, while the next year participated for the second time in the final of the Greek Cup, but lost to Olympiakos. In 1953 it marked the beginning of successful period for PAOK. During the summer transfers in the team came the Kaurirukidis, Petrides, Progios, Giraudis, Chemonides, Hashiatis, and Angelides. The acquirement of Lambis Kaurirukidis from Doxa Drama was the major move for club's board, as with left Eris Papadakis and Christopher Yensis, created the famous aggressive triple of that age. For four consecutive seasons PAOK won the Macedonian Championship and participated in the Panhellenic Championship with Yensis being the first scorer in the season 1953-54 and Kaurirukidis in the season 1955-56. Under the coach Nikos Pangalos won the championship in 1954 with nine wins and only one draw. A similar run for the next championship in 1955 with the same coach, with eight wins and two draws. Also, in 1955 PAOK participated for the third time in a final cup and was defeated by Panathinaikos, at Apostolos Nikolaidis Stadium. In 1956, under Hungarian coach Ermin Hoffman they won the third consecutive unbeaten championship with nine wins and one draw. That year first scorer was Kaurirukidis, with 14 goals. The golden four years ended in 1957 championship, coached by the Austrian Walter Pfeiffer. This was the seventh title, and last Macedonia championship in their history, before the establishment of national championship, Alpha Ethniki. In 1959, their new Tumba Stadium opened. PAOK won the Greek Cup, in 1972 and 1974. They won also for the first time the Greek Championship in 1975-76, a feat they would repeat in 1984-85. At the European level, the club made its best ever performance after reaching the quarter-finals of the European Cup in 1973-74 European Cup Winners' Cup where they were knocked out by Milan. PAOK also made a memorable appearance against German giants Bayern Munich in the 1983-84 UEFA Cup, where it was knocked out on penalties after two goalless draws. In 1992, they lost in the Greek Cup to Olympiakos. In 1996, Thomas Valinos handed over the reins of the club to Jurgos Batatotis. Numerous transfers of well-known players such as Percy Oliveras, Zisis Vrizas, Spiros Marangos, and Costas Francescos took place under the new administration. In 1997, having served its five-year ban, PAOK qualified for the UEFA Cup under coach Angelos Anastasiadis. The club's reappearance at European level was marked by a victory and qualification over Arsenal. In 2001 they won the Greek Cup final defeating Olympiakos 4-2. In 2003, they won the Greek Cup final again, defeating Eris 1-0. The 2003-04 season was an unexpected success. Batatotis was no longer the major shareholder, and under the management of Anastasiadis, PAOK managed to finish third in the league and to secure participation in the qualifying rounds of the following year's UEFA Champions League.
The first match in Tumba finished 2-1 to Maccabi Tel Aviv but was awarded 3-0 against PAOK for fielding a suspended player. The club fielded Liazos Luka, a Cypriot player who was still serving a two-match ban in UEFA competitions. Unfortunately, the team failed to qualify for the group stages, as they were knocked out by Maccabi Tel Aviv in the third qualifying round. Rolf Fringer was appointed as new coach in September 2004, replacing Agelos Anastasiadis, but after a few games, Fringer was replaced by Nikos Karagiorgio, who led the club to a fifth-place finish in May 2005 and a subsequent 2005-06 UEFA Cup qualification. By the end of May 2006, the club's dramatic situation started to emerge, with players openly declaring they have been unpaid for months, plus a shocking decision by UEFA to ban the club from participating in the upcoming UEFA Cup, brought the club one step from complete ruin, with the organized fanbus launching an all-out war against Giannis Gumanos during the summer of 2006 going as far as to occupy the club's offices in Tumba Stadium for a handful of days. The situation was ever worsening for Gumanos, after many failed deals with possible investors, constant allegations of embezzlement, and especially his decision to sell star player Dimitri Salpingidis to Panathinaikos. The club appointed Mamsilo Vukotic as coach in October 2006 replacing Dumitrescu, who had earlier resigned. In the summer of 2007, Theodoros Zagarakis assumed presidency of the club, replacing the Nikos Vezertsis and Apostolos Oikonomides administration and thus ushered in a new era. The plan's first season saw the club eliminated from the Greek Cup by second division club Thrasivalos. The early replacement of coach Jurgos Pariskos by the well-known established manager Fernando Santos did little to prevent a ninth-place finish in the league. The beginning of the Greco-Italian War brought the general mobilization in Greece, and the end of every sport activity. PAO case footballers were presented to Hellenic Army and two of them gave their lives to battle. Goalkeeper Nikos Soteriadis and left defender Jurgos Vatikis. They are both among the four Greek footballers who have left their last breath on the front. The others was Spiros Kontoli of AEK and Mimis Pirakos of Panathinaikos. Jurgos Vatikis was the first Greek athlete to fall on the Greek-Italian front. As an warrant officer. He was 22 years old when he died in Battle of Morava Ivan. Afterwards, Vatikis was promoted to a lieutenant, and he was awarded the Silver Cross of Valor and the Homeland of Gratitude. Nikos Soteriadis played from 1932 until 1940 in the PAOK team, leaving his last breath on January 28, 1941, in Klysura fighting with the rank of sergeant in the 50th Infantry Regiment, in the Greco-Italian War. He was 33 years old. One club men. Most league appearances and top scorer. Greek Championship, winners, 1975-76, 1984-85, 1985-86, 1986-87, 1987-88. Nineteen thirty nine forty, nineteen seventy two seventy three, nineteen seventy seven seventy eight, two thousand and nine ten, twenty twelve thirteen, twenty fifteen sixteen. Twelve in honor of the fans, considered the twelfth player of the team in the pitch. The only player who had the number twelve in his shirt was Joe Nagby. The last time was on May 28, 2017 in honor of Panagiotis Katsaris, a PAOK player that died in 1998 in a car accident.
official YouTube channel. The club's finances, however, gradually improved, and thanks to the continuing massive support from fans in the form of season tickets, as well as many new sponsorship deals the summer of 2008 saw the transfers of widely known internationals like Pablo Contreras, Zlatan Muslimovic, and Pablo Garcia. In January 2009, Zagorakis announced the club's intention of building a new training facility complex in the Neomesimbria area of Thessaloniki, owned by the club. The administration had already acquired land from the municipality of Agios Athanasios in the previous summer. The end of the 2008-09 season found PAOK in second place, eight points behind champions Olympiakos, the best place the club had taken since 1985. The 2010 league playoff success was swiftly followed by Fernando Santos' announcement of his decision to depart, having concluded his three-year contract as head coach. It was eventually decided in mid-June that Mario Barreto would be his successor. Barreto was quickly replaced with Pavlos Dermitsakis, veteran PAOK player and Zagari Kiss initial choice before reverting to Barreta. Beretta also became the shortest-lived PAOK coach ever, sitting on the bench for just 38 days. With Dermot Sakis at the helm, PAOK faced Ajax and was ultimately eliminated on the away goals rule, managing a 1-1 draw in Amsterdam and a thrilling 3-3 draw in Thessaloniki. Entering the UEFA Europa League playoff round, PAOK were drawn against Fenerbus, also eliminated on the Champions League third qualifying round. This time, PAOK fared much better and after winning the home game 1-0 in Thessaloniki, secured a memorable 1-1 draw. Another defeat against Panathinaikos under Dermitsakis led to his removal on October 17. His assistant, Makis Chavos, replaced him as caretaker coach. In 2010-11, PAOK reached the knockout phase in the Europa League, losing 2-1 on aggregate to CSKA Moscow. In the Super League Greece, PAOK finished fourth in the regular season and secured a place in the 2011-12 UEFA Europa League third qualifying round by finishing second in the playoff round. The PAOK board then appointed the experienced Romanian Laszlo Baloni as the club's new head coach. Under the leadership of Baloni, PAOK passed the UEFA Europa League playoff round and entered the group stage despite the many injured players the club had. On November 30, 2011, PAOK achieved a historic victory against English club Tottenham Hotspur at White Hart Lane, winning 2-1. With this victory, the club qualified for the Europa League round of 32 for the second consecutive year. There they faced Udinese. After a 0-0 draw away in Udina, however, they suffered a 0-3 loss at Tumba Stadium. PAOK entered the 2012-13 Europa League third qualification round, and with a 0-2 away and 4-1 home win over BNEI Yehuda, qualified for the playoff round, where faced Rapid Wien but were eliminated after 2-1 and 3-0 home and away defeats, respectively. PAOK finished the season in second place during the regular period, qualifying for the Super League playoffs. Jurgos Donis was replaced by technical director and former player Georgios Georgiadis, who was appointed caretaker manager. PAOK managed to win qualification for the third qualifying round of the Champions League in the playoffs after a last game win against Paji and Nina. In June 2013, PAOK appointed Hube Stevens as their new coach, 
but he was dismissed in March 2014 after achieving poor results. In 2014, the team reached the 2013-14 Greek Cup final, but lost to Panathinaikos. In 2015, club owner Ivan Savides paid all of the club's debts to the Greek government, an amount that totaled at €10,886,811. In May, PAOK hired Frank Arnizen as the new club's technical director. On June 18, 2015, Igor Tudor was hired as the new manager of the club, signing a three-year contract. Tudor was replaced in March 2016 by youth team coach Vladimir Ivic. They won the Greek Cup in May 2017, beating AEK Athens in the final, although the match kicked off late due to crowd trouble. On March 11, 2018, during a match against AEK, the president of the team, Ivan Savides, stormed onto the pitch with a pistol in his holster after a late PAOK goal was disallowed, causing the league to be suspended. Sintriveni Stadium was PAOK's first home ground. It was situated near the Children's Asylum, where the Theological School of Aristotle University is based today. Their current home ground is Stadio Tumbas, which was opened in 1959, although it has been renovated a number of times since. Tumba Stadium External View PAOK is the third most popular football club in Greece, with one of the highest average home attendance in Greece. PAOK traditional fanbus comes from the city of Thessaloniki, where the club is based as well as most of the rest of Macedonia region and northern Greece. The main organized supporters of PAOK are known as Gate 4. Gate 4 is where the largest PAOK supporters clubs assemble. They support all clubs within the PAOK Sports Society, wearing the club's colors and symbols and maintaining firms in every corner of Greece, created in 1976. However, the oldest fan club is SFPAOK Neapolis Bellos and was founded in 1963, which is one of the first fan clubs in the country. The organized supporters of PAOK has over the years become a part of the club by affecting club decisions and by following the club on all occasions. The relations between PAOK's organized supporters and their presidents was usually have been disturbed, and have become the cause of ownership change. The reasons were, the team's bad course, but also the bad management of the club at various times. One of these cases was against the former president of PAOK, Thomas Volinos. In 1992, organized PAOK fans had decided to persecute him from the club. That is why they stopped the UEFA Cup home match against Paris Saint-Germain in Tumba, invading the pitch to interrupt the game, and due to this interruption, their purpose was forced the president to leave the club. The club was punished by UEFA with a two-year exclusion from any European competition, receiving a painful financial shock. The president of PAOK in an explosion of rage had referred to the president of Gate 4, naming him as the only responsible for what had happened. The French newspaper L.A. Keep had a title in the match report, Thessaloniki was crazy, while Paris SG member said, I have not seen such a show, with such furious fans. The beginning of the end of his presidency was essentially on November 6, 1995. In a match between PAOK and AEK, extended violent incidents took place at Tumba. A few months later, Thomas Volinos left the club. PAOK fans are famous for their passion and fervent support to the team, 
with the atmosphere at home match is regarded as intimidating. They are also renowned for fireworks, for the small and large banners to display in the grandstands, and for noisy and constant cheering. One of the biggest banner in Europe and the world has been created by fan club Michanyana. The group as a whole maintains a strong friendship with the supporters of Serbian club Partizan, the Groberry. There have been many occasions where fans from both clubs travel to watch each other's games. PAOK fans also have good relations with the fans of OFI Crete, a friendship that has been built mainly around their sharing of the same club colors. The friendship is supported by an annual exchange of tickets and a typically strong atmosphere in their matches. They also maintain good relations with fans of Panionias. In the night of October 4, 1999 a road accident took place in the Vale of Tempe, Thessaly, with six fans of the team killed. An annual ceremony takes place since then. The rivalry between Olympiakos and PAOK, is long-standing, emerging in the 1960s, when the infamous case of Jurgos Kauta's transfer from PAOK to Olympiakos occurred. A long-time rivalry also exists between PAOK and local rivals Eris. Panathinaikos and AEK Athens are also considered major rivals due to the bitter rivalry of citizens between Thessaloniki of Macedonia and Athens. The team's traditional colors are black, as sadness for the Asia Minor catastrophe of 1922 and the end of the Greek presence in Anatolia, and white as hope for recovery. PAOK's traditional home colors are black and white striped shirt. Shorts and socks are usually black with white lines, but it's never the same for a long time. For many seasons in history the shorts were white with black lines. In general, there is nothing stable for a long period. In the club's 91-year history there are over 100 changes, with variations of black and white with shirt and shorts. In addition to classic black and white, the club has used purple, blue, orange, silver, and red as an alternative. Every year there are small or big changes. In 1926, the first shirt was black with white collar, and also white shorts. In 1931, the club used a black and white shirt with horizontal strips, and also white shorts. Similar appearance was used in 1953 but shorts was black. In 1967-68, for the first time appeared with white shirt, white shorts, and white socks. Similar appearances occurred in 1980-82, 1984-85, and 1987-88. In 1970-71, for the first time appeared with black shirt, black shorts, and black socks. On January 2016, PAOK presented an anniversary jersey for the 90th birthday of the club. The jersey was designed by Macron. His features were, the big white collar, the thick cords, a variation of the double-headed eagle, the logo of the 90 years on the sleeve, and the first characteristic logo of the team can be found printed on the back neck. He anniversary shirt is a copy of 1960 SIXS jersey. The current home kit designed by Macron. In 2016 to 2017, the kit was the classic black and white colors of the club developed in vertical bands with side and front piping color of gold. The collar is enriched in the back by the press of the club name. The first logo of PAOK was a horseshoe and a four-leaf clover, that was proposed by the member of board Costas Coemtsipolos. The double-headed eagle was chosen as symbol of the club in 1929. Unlike other Byzantine-style eagles, 
the wings of the eagle are mournfully closed. Under the leadership of Ivan Savides a gold stripe was added to the crest, as a symbol of glory and renaissance of the club. First Alternative Until the 1980s, when football in Greece was amateur, the team jerseys had only the emblem and the number of each player. When football became professional, then companies began to become official sponsors of the club. In 1983, Suzuki Motor Corporation became the club's first shirt sponsor for one season. After one and a half years without a jersey sponsor, in January 2008, there was an agreement with the Natural Gas Supply Corporation of Greece, DEPA. The agreement was two and a half years, and the deal is worth 3 million euros. At the start of the 2010-11 season, the club's main shirt sponsors was Pame Stoixima, which also sponsored them in 1987-88. The agreement was a three-year term, for Euro 1.5 MA year. The collaboration with Pame Stoixima continued for another two years. For the 2013-14 season, the club received Euro 1.5 MA year, and for the next 1.8 million euros. On September 22, 2015, the club announced a two-year deal with SportingBet.gr. The shirt deal was Euro 1.2 MA year. On June 30, 2017, PAOK signed a three-year deal with online betting company Stoiximan as shirt sponsor. The new Euro 1.8 MA year shirt deal is worth 5.4 million euros over three years. ABM Diffusion became the kit manufacturer of PAOK for two years, until 1995. Puma returned again for two years before Adidas started a second spell in 1997. Adidas remained for nine years, followed by Puma's third period of cooperation with PAOK. Umbro became kit manufacturer of club again, before the agreement with Nike in 2013. The current kit manufacturer is Macron since 2015. PAOK's best European performance was in the 1973-74 season, when they reached the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. PAOK FC Sports Center is the training ground of PAOK and Academy Base, located in Nia Mesimbria area. The construction started under the presidency of Theodoros Zagorakis. Retired PAOK FC Numbers since 2013, PAOK maintains a cooperation with Juventus on the academy's sector. A number of PAOK players have represented the Greece national team, the first official international being Nikos Sotiriadis. The record number of PAOK players for Greece was six, which happened on two occasions in 1981. The first PAOK player to captain Greece was Stavros Serafis. Christodoulos Poulos, Katsaranis, Zavalas and Salpingidis were players of PAOK. Kostas Katsaranis The following managers won at least one trophy when in charge of PAOK. Jurgos Kautas holds the record for most PAOK league appearances having played 504 matches, between 1963 and 1984. 
Stavros Serafis is the club's top goalscorer with 170 goals overall, being at PAOK between 1967 and 1981. A list of the 10 highest appearances and scorers for PAOK is listed below. League Top Scorers Media Asterisk only in pre-HFF championships.